I'd like to talk about the gift that God has given us. Consider that you received an envelope with your name written on it. And you're wondering what could be in it. After you open it and read what is in it, you're surprised and excited of what you have read in it. The content of the envelope says that this is a gift that you can travel to any part of the world and back with all your expenses covered. At the bottom of the note, it says, this gift is not only for you as an individual, but your entire family. Now imagine how your heart is racing with excitement and surprise. Your mind is flooding with thoughts of where to go and which place to visit. Maybe to places you dreamt visiting your entire life. It could be Spain, it could be France, it could be Switzerland, Hawaii, New York, Dubai, Seychelles, Maldives, Bali, or any other place in the world to your dream destination. As you begin your journey and encash this gift, you are all the more surprised that not only your travel expenses are covered, but your accommodation, your food, your local expenses, and even your shopping expenses and everything you need is taken care of. You are treated like royalty. Imagine the joy, the happiness, the satisfaction, and fulfillment of your dreams come true, which you have never expected would ever come true. The gift you received has given you joy beyond all your desires and expectations. As you're enjoying and encashing this gift, likewise, our Heavenly Father gave each of us, each of us a gift. It's a very special gift. It's the gift of Jesus Christ. 2000 years ago, mankind has received this special gift, not in an envelope with a voucher, but a baby wrapped in cloth, who is the promised Messiah, God our Emmanuel, we so proudly celebrate his birth as Christmas. The fact that we believe in him, trust in him, and have a hope placed in him brings us happiness in our life. We are committed to faithfully follow him, no matter where we are and what circumstances we are in. Unfortunately, a lot of people in the world have not discovered this gift or accepted this gift. They look to different methods and ways to find their happiness and joy. They invest their time and money and all their effort into businesses, into stocks, they work so hard to get those promotions. They invest their time, money, and effort in acquiring property, thinking that it will give them the happiness that they need. They look for fulfillment and a sense of pride and false prestige that they are looking for. They invest their time in pleasure trips. They buy fancy cars. They, they even go to a point where they are gambling. They do meditation, yoga, and to the extreme, thinking that, you know, that involving themselves in drugs and alcohol gives them that happiness and joy that they are, they are looking for. Yet, this world did not find what they're looking for. They are not satisfied. 
God has given us this gift, the gift of Jesus Christ. Let's unwrap the gift and then cash it and see what our loving Heavenly Father has given us. He gave us Jesus Christ, the very creator who made the heaven and earth, our redeemer, our savior, our Lord, our master, who had each one of us in his mind, even before the foundations of the earth were laid. Such a loving God he is. Psalm 16, 11 says, you will show me the path of life. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. And let's see what else is God giving us with Jesus Christ. He's giving us the Holy Spirit. Peter said, repent and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. For the remission of your sins, the sins that we have committed are going to be washed clean. And you shall receive the gift of Holy Spirit. John 7.38 says, He who believes in me, out of his heart will flow rivers of living waters. And Jesus also said, I will pray to the Father. That he will give you a helper that he may, the Holy Spirit may, abide with you forever. John 14, 16. The Holy Spirit is going to be with us forever. Let's also see what other thing that God is going to give us. These are just a few things that I'm bringing out. God has promised to give each one of us peace. A peace not like the world gives us. I give my peace to you, not as the world gives I do. Let your heart not be troubled, neither let it be afraid. The peace that the world offers is not permanent. The peace that God gives us Settles us down. Keeps our heart calm. And God is telling us that he's going to give that peace that we will not be afraid. And let's see what are the beautiful gift that God is giving us along with Jesus Christ. Let's unwrap it and see. The indwelling of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. John 14, 23 says, If anyone loves me, he will keep my word. My Father will love him, and I will come to him, and we will come to him and make our home with him. Our loving Heavenly Father, our Savior Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, have selected each one of us to make their home with us. It's such a wonderful blessing that there is. And he also said in verse 21, He who has my commandments and keeps them, it is he who loves me, and he who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and manifest myself to him. See, we who are as Christians, who have taken the commitment to follow Jesus Christ and obey his words, God is promising that he would manifest himself to us and live within us and make us his home. He has placed and planted a seed in each one of us which has taken root in us and we are growing in his love and in his nature and we are slowly beginning to manifest the image of God in us. We begin to enjoy our life in Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth and life. 
it's because of Jesus Christ. We have fullness of life in Christ. The world, on the contrary, finds its happiness in material things. Even if we lack these things, we find our joy in the Lord. 2 Corinthians 6.10 says, Our hearts ache, but at the same time, we have the joy of the Lord. We are poor, but we give rich spiritual gift to others. We own nothing, and yet we enjoy everything. The Living Bible Translation. In other words, we find fullness of life in Jesus Christ. Everything we need is taken care of. The physical needs, the emotional needs, and the spiritual needs. All of us at one point of time have had the opportunity to hold a baby in our hand. And we know how precious this little one's life is, how precious this gift is to us. We take care of it so gently, make the baby comfortable in all possible ways, make sure it's well fed, and we see that the baby is growing day by day. Likewise, God has placed his seed within us and planted it in us and it has taken root in us. God is now expecting us that we grow. And as we grow progressively and are transformed from within into the image of God, on this journey as a Christian, let us begin to share this gift that we have been given. My wife always tells me, the destination is important. At the same time, the journey is also very important. You should begin to enjoy the journey. The journey that we take as Christians in obeying our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ Let's enjoy this journey, share this gift with others that we have received and manifest the fruits of the triune God that has been placed within us. And with faith, we not only celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ and in hope, we anticipate the second coming of our Jesus Christ and celebrate. So brethren, this season, as Sachin was saying, let's take that little effort to extend ourselves to others. The season of giving, let's give ourselves to others so that we will be able to share ourselves what God has placed in us with others. The gift that God has given us must be shared and it must go on. God bless you all. Thank you.